So I already have the pizza crust in the oven. I'm gonna take my cream cheese. This is an eight ounce container of Tofuti cream cheese. I'm gonna put that in a slightly larger bowl. Then I'm going to take my packet of ranch dressing. Just any type of ranch is fine. And I'm going to mix that together. This is gonna serve as the base for your pizza. The vegetable toppings we're gonna to be using, I have already chopped up some green, red, and yellow peppers, some onion, and some cauliflower and broccoli. And then on top of that, I'm also going to be using uh, sprinkling the Daya cheese on top. So this is their cheddar style shreds. I have used this on other things before and this actually melts like dairy cheese. So this is the best cheese that I've found that comes in non-dairy. All right, so our pizza dough crust is done. And we're going to go ahead first things first. We're going to spread our cream cheese mixture onto the pizza dough. And you know, depending on how much you how much you want to use, you can use the whole mixture or just some of it. I'm going to probably go ahead and spread the whole thing on here. Now that you've spread this on, I'm gonna use my finger, sorry guys, but let me do it. Okay, now that you've spread your cream cheese mixture on top, put that to the side. Okay, you wanna take and just kind of sprinkle your vegetables on top and do a little bit of cauliflower and I'm just going to kind of alternate through um, sprinkling things then I'm going to go ahead and, oh and then my onions I actually chopped up some fresh garlic and added to that too Alright, and then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to top it with the cheese. And then my veggie pizza will be done. So that's the veggie pizza. All right, so I'm gonna see what this tastes like. <clears throat> um, again, it's pretty much the same recipe except I used vegan cheese and vegan cream cheese as opposed to dairy cheese and cream cheese. And I used a whole wheat crust as opposed to using croissant. So we're gonna see. Okay, I'm impressed, it's really good. It doesn't taste that different from the original recipe. You can taste the difference of the croissant and the whole wheat pizza dough, but it's not bad, it's, it's actually really good. Definitely one you guys might wanna try. I let my husband taste it too. 
Hey, what's up everybody? I am trying a, um, a vegan veggie pizza. I should say vegan pizza. Whatever the case, I'm about to try it. It smelled great while it was being at, while the crust was being baked in the oven. So I'm about to see what it tastes like. Oh man. Give me a second to just save this. Oh, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Mm. Mm. This is amazing. This is amazing. So do you notice any difference between that and the croissant? Um... Not really. As far as the way it tastes, I mean, it tastes different, but it still tastes really good. Well, it's a weak crush, so I have to, you know, if you were to think about it and compare the two, you can taste the wheat if you're thinking about it. But when I first bit into it, that wasn't what I thought about. But I can taste all the flavors. The broccoli, the uh, yellow pepper, everything just tastes great. Definitely having it for Thanksgiving. Definitely. I am Mr. Smith, and I approve of this recipe.